Hello there, welcome to The Shed, I'm Eric. In this video, we'll be looking at another of the updates to Adobe Express 2023. Specifically, we'll be looking at using various file types right inside Adobe Express. We'll be looking at PDFs and PSDs, but you can also use Illustrator files, that's .ai. They work the same way in Adobe Express as Photoshop files. All right, without any more ado, let's jump in and see how we work with PDFs. So here I am in Adobe Express, and here's the home page. Now this might look slightly different to how it does to you. I'm using the beta version. Right at the top here, you can see that on the top row, on the top left, we've got start from your content, photos, videos, or files, and that includes PDF, PSTs, and AI files. And what we're gonna do to start with is look at possibly the most tricky outside of Adobe Express, the PDFs. Okay, I'm gonna click on that box and up pops my finder. You can see here I've got price list PDF and I click open. And you can see now that it's coming into Adobe Express and it's actually saying that it's converting to an Adobe Express file. That's very helpful. There we go, we're complete. Let's open in editor. Now let's say that this has been sent to us from last year before we were involved, because obviously we're not gonna produce something like this. And they've said, can you jazz this up, make it a bit more branded to our current branding? You know, just jimmy it around a little bit. Yep, we absolutely can. So inside of Adobe Express, first thing that we're gonna do is have a look at how it's brought it in. If I just click on the background here, that's gonna bring up our layers on the right hand side. And you can see we've got 10 plus layers. And the reason for that is that each line of text is now on its own layer. And it's fully editable. If we look over the left hand side here, you can see that Alphon Regular, which is the font that we've been using for the whole Snot Real brand, has been brought in as well with this. So nothing has really changed here. It is the same as the PDF was. Okay, so I've been told that the Espresso is now £2.40, not £2. So let's double click in that. And you can see that I can very quickly just go and change that to £2.40. And we can edit the text throughout this. It is all editable. Now to jazz this up a little bit, we might have a little bit of problems because every piece of text is on its own layer, but that's not gonna be an issue. We can group those together. So let's do that now. So you can see that I can click on one and it's highlighted. If I shift and click on the next one, that's grouped in with it. And then as we go down, you can see that I'm actually grouping all of them together and selecting them all. Okay, now I have them all selected. What I can do now is to change the font size because I don't like the way that this Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee uh, it goes over two lines. So let's reduce that down a little bit. There we go. Now it's all on one line. Now I want to put those all in the middle. So first of all, what I'm going to do is make sure that they are all centrally aligned and then I can align them to center as a job lot. There we go. I'm also going to change the text color here. And these colors are coming in from our brand of Snot Real. As you can see, it's not real business there. More about brands in another video. Okay, I'm going to choose the red here for this. Changes all the text. There we go. That's about as I want it. To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to group them all together. Click, grouped. There we go. I can now move these around as one layer quite easily. I can resize that should I wish as well. Easily done. Good. Let's have a look at the bottom layers here. So again, I click and shift click. And again, I'm gonna just put those into the middle and then align them to the center. And then let's just move that, make sure that that is in the center as well and bring it right down. There we go. Good. As you can see, working with PDFs is no longer a big headache for us that don't work with PDFs all the time. We can now jump in 
to Adobe Express and it's already tools that we're familiar with and it all just makes sense. Nothing is in different orders and randomly and hey, you know what it's like to work with PDF sometimes. Okay, let's make a few more changes to this. Let's take off this price list. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. It's obvious it's a price list. And then let's go into our brands. I'll tell you what else I want to do. I just want to go into these two and change those to green, perhaps. Good. Let's go into your stuff. And you can see that I've got the brand of Snot Real Business here. Well, I've got a nice cup. I can just click on that. And I can resize it and pop it up there on the top in the middle. Good. Let's resize the text. And I don't like that background. So let's get rid of that. Let's highlight that and pop it in the trash can, put it in the bin. Now I can see there's a shadow on this, not a problem. Remove background, off it goes, does his stuff. Cool. And then from your stuff again, I've got this background that I've been using for stories and reels. Let's add that in, but let's make that really big. So now we can keep some of the, the branding across all our different bits and bobs. There we go. Let's make that really big. Good. Let's pop that down to the bottom. And then again from your stuff, let's take the logo here. Move it up, make it big, turn it around. Let's bring it around there so we can see the word shenanigan, shall we? And let's bring down that opacity to 25%-ish. Good. Duplicate it. Bring it down. Turn it around. And another sort of seal, I suppose, there. To there. Okay. We're done easy as that so now we've taken a pdf from last year we've updated it we remember we've changed the text there and then we've altered all the bits and bobs got rid of what we don't want and uh, reformatted it so there we go now a last little tip here and this works throughout adobe express especially when you're working on something with small text like this if i want it to look down here i can use control or command and plus and i can zoom in and then when I let go of keys, I can then go up just using the scroll wheel. And you can see I can then move around to get back. Control zero fits it all on the screen. So if you're used to those shortcuts in Photoshop, there they are again in Adobe Express. So there we are. We've used PDFs. Let's go on to Photoshop files slash AI files, that's uh, Adobe Illustrator files. They work similar, so I'm only going to do Photoshop here. No point in doing both. Okay, I'm going to go and get a new project to set up. And I've got two ways that I can use a Photoshop document here. First of all, just as we did before, I can start from my content. You can see I've got Photoshop by 4 offer and click open on that. And there we are. It comes, it's uploading, and then it's converting to an Adobe Express file. In it comes, won't be much longer. I'm waffling, just so you can see just how quickly it works. And then I can say open in editor. There we go. You might find that sometimes when you upload a Photoshop file, which is what's happened here, sometimes things get a little bit out of sync it's never anything drastic in uh, the experimentation that I've been doing, and it's a really easy fix, but something to bear in mind. What I can do here is I can come up to buy one, buy four, get one free. I'm trying to give stuff away, and I can just make that a little bit bigger. And again, with this one, I can make it just a little bit bigger. And there it is. It's back to how it was in our Photoshop document. I can then start to use the tools that I've already been using inside Adobe Express to change this as much as I like. And you can see that I've got different layers here as well, the big cup and then the four in the background. And then I've actually got a couple of other layers there too. Let's go over to Photoshop. 
so you can see just how this was laid out so you can see i've got the text here and then i've got the bean gods cup there and then the four cups were actually in a group and then i've got the layer with the logo on it in the background and that's how that then comes over to adobe express even though these were in a group they are now separate on separate layers now talking of that layer in the background that's it here i believe uh, you can see that the opacity is at 10% which it is over in photoshop but if i bring this up to 100% then it's the same as it was in photoshop before we brought it over so if i go back over to photoshop you can see that 10% is indeed the opacity of this layer and in adobe express it brings it in as 10% but actually you need to bring that up to 100% so you can see it in the same way okay hopefully that makes sense but we've got our document here in adobe express and we can do all the things that we have been doing in adobe express right here as well so we can start animating this we can remove the background if we wanted to have this as a post on instagram for example we can then start looking at animation if you're watching some of the other videos you'll know why i like the drift in coming from the bottom there uh, if i wanted to add some sound effects or whatever so really easy we can take uh, what is essentially a, well is a photoshop document we can bring it into adobe express and then we can animate it for use we can repurpose it for all kinds of different ways so as always we can go down to the bottom here we can see what's going on we can see the timeline we can see everything that's happening should we wish there we go easy and we can start adding to it if we wanted to use multiple files within this post we can then start adding a scene more of that again in another video but you can see just how easy it is so that's one way of using photoshop files inside of adobe express there is a second way so let's jump back in and see how we get on all right so i'm going to go back to the very beginning and i'm going to create an instagram square from scratch i'm going to go back to my finder and i'm going to go to my buy for get one free photoshop document and i'm going to click and i'm going to drag that in and there you go we can see now that that is in there let's make that bigger now it does look a little bit scruffy but the reason for that is that it's actually uploading we can see in the top left hand corner here that it's uploading to the cloud this is syncing with adobe express we can also see on the left hand side there it says uploading while it's uploading we can start adding text and things like that but it doesn't take very long as you can see so there we go we've got our photoshop document placed unlike before it is a single document it is a single layer it's there wallop straight in but now let's say that somebody has sent us this photoshop document and we've popped it in there and they've gone actually what we'd like is it's dated as 2022 we need it updated to december 2023 well because there's no layers we can't jump in like we did with the price list a little while ago so we have to find another way and as luck would have it here it is look at that open in photoshop so if you are a photoshop user you can now jump between the two if i click open in the photoshop sure enough up it comes in photoshop itself and it says that some layers may need updating because of the font but actually we're all okay and there it is so i can come into the bottom here into december 2022 let's highlight that say there we go 2023 now of course it doesn't have to be text we can change as much or as little as we want we can change the cups out we can rearrange the cups we can get rid of cups we can do whatever we want here it doesn't matter we're all okay we can do whatever we need to do and what i then do is go Control command s to save it just like i would with a smart object if you're familiar with that and then i'm going to go back to adobe express and you can see already down the bottom it says your linked assets have changed update yes please let's update that 
sure enough, there it is, 2023, and it tells us that it's been updated successfully. Like I say, we could update anything. So we could, in fact, go back and we could change that logo, for example. Again, I can open up in Photoshop. I can come back to that and say, actually, I want it 100%. Save it. Go back. It's going to tell me it's updated. There we go. Let's update that, which is all very nice, but obviously it looks hideous. Um, and we can't change the opacity of that because, remember, it's all on one layer. So now... If I try to change the opacity, it's going to change the whole lot. So let's go back to Photoshop, reduce that down to 10%. Control Command S and back into Express Update. So there we are, using Photoshop files in two very distinctly different ways. And there we are. We've used Photoshop two different ways. We've also edited a PDF. And remember, the Illustrator files can also be done. My name's Eric. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've got anything out of this at all, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with me what you're doing in Adobe Express. I really am interested in what you're doing. But that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye for now.